Hey everyone, and welcome to World Heritage Journey, where today we're at the old city of Zamostia in southeastern Poland. Zamoska dates back to the late 16th century when it was set up by a local nobleman named Jan Zamoski. Being an enterprising nobleman, he recognised that his land had tremendous value economically as a trading post between Western Europe, the Baltic Sea and the Black Sea. And so, being inspired by the trading cities of northern Italy, he hired an Italian architect from Padua named Bernardo Morando, and together they designed the perfect Renaissance trading city, which resulted in the trading city of Zamostia, where we are now. There's some fascinating stuff to see here, so let's check it out. So it's one thing to build your ideal trading city, but it's another thing entirely to have people come and trade within it. And to encourage people to come and join the burgeoning community, a combination of policies was used, quite clever really. Firstly was low taxes of course, but secondly a policy of tolerance was encouraged, not just ethnically but also religiously as well. And the townhouses behind me are testament to that. They're townhouses built by Armenian merchants from the 17th century where they were quite welcome to come and trade here. And everyone was welcome, Orthodox, Protestant, Catholic Christians, Jews and Muslims, everyone was welcome to come here and trade. So physically speaking, the town is organised according to Renaissance principles, which means we have a large main square where I am now, and it measures precisely 100 by 100 metres. There's also several nice wide streets running at right angles to each other, so it's very difficult to get lost. There's also a very big town hall that you can see behind me, and that reminds everyone who the real power is in town. As an important trading city, Zamoska was quite vulnerable to attack and so not long after it was built, walls and bastions were constructed to keep it safe from foreign invaders. They were strengthened several times over the centuries, but as the city declined in importance by the 19th century, they were largely torn down and only a few small bits of it remain, like the one that you can see behind me. The area that was once occupied by the fortifications is these days a beautiful city park. It's quite a small World Heritage Site this one. The city itself doesn't cover a huge amount of area, but there's plenty of interesting things to see and I have had quite a good afternoon wandering around and taking it all in. But that's it from me, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Joel on the road and I'll see you at the next World Heritage Site.